Navigate to ShopRite. I'm going to slow it down here a little bit. Welcome. Well, this is going to be interesting because we have a truck that's pulling out of here. And uh, you see, it, it did okay. Um, that was a neighbor of mine. Um, of course, he didn't wave, but that's the way it is. Don't know that he knew that it was me or thought, well, why does this guy keep driving down the street like this? But nonetheless... This is new version uh, 20, 2022 2022.20.17. It has um, improvements on it, um, visualizations, better this, that, whatever. Um, um, I haven't read all over, uh, over all of the notes. Um, I did take some screenshots that I'll share with you. Um, and we're going to see uh, whether this uh, is any improvement or have we taken a giant leap backwards or whatever. A little hesitant here, very hesitant actually. I mean, I had to make a right hand turn. I was like, you know. Oh, it doesn't know the speed limit is, and I'm still going 20. I wonder when it's going to realize the speed limit's 35. Well,. Before I get people on my butt, oh, I'm going to speed up. Eventually, it'll see a uh, speed limit sign and adjust the speed accordingly. You can see it says it's 25 here, but the speed limit here is 35. Um, I don't know where the first sign is. I, I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Although, it always knew the speed limit prior to this was 35 and would immediately go to 35. I don't know what, what the oddity is here. Again, maybe a giant, well, one step backwards. Here's the sign. Let's see if it reads it and updates. It read, it updated, and you saw the little nag there. I pulled on the wheel. <clears throat> So this is the first drive with this uh, software update that I received yesterday. I've posted a few videos of previous, uh, the previous iteration of this, um, and um, actually it's quite, so far, it's been rock solid. It's been very good. Um, it did make one mistake on me um, when it was navigating, and it should have been in a left lane when it got to um, the intersection. Um, there were two lanes dedicated left, one dedicated left or center, and one just straight, uh, just straight ahead, two just straight ahead. And unfortunately, it decided to pass and get in that other lane, which made it ridiculous because then I had to go through the intersection and... There is construction there. It is really, really tenuous. Oh, this is a giant leap backward as far as making right-hand turns. I, I've never seen it delay this much. First impression isn't so good. I'm curious to see whether they made any improvements on this uh, blinker here, putting the blinker on sooner. I didn't read anything in the release notes about it, and yet um, it is an issue for me at least. I put my blinker on and let people know I'm turning, not slowing down and then turn, then putting my blinker on. We 
didn't have any opposing cars, so that wasn't a true test there on an unprotected left. turn was normal however we did have a light so it knew it could go I guess I don't know I'm sure he's worried about cars and it might have come from that direction now I'm going to show you what this oh well is this guy just going to sit here nope waiting for a crosswalk good I'll show you what it does when it drives you into a parking lot. It doesn't park in the parking lot. It drives you to the front of the building. And see, it says it's going to stop in 300 feet. And that's about where that uh, now 200 feet. I'm going to take it off autopilot and I'm going to go in this. Um Well, it got it here safely. However, I am not um, a big fan of the way a right hand turns uh, are initiated when it is not like at a traffic light where it knows it can turn right. Um, it's very, very hesitant. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I have it set on average and that's what my last videos have been and that's always been the standard for a while I did use assertive how about we try it on assertive on the way home and we'll go from there thank you much for watching have a great day